Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom notification with Next.js. These are custom notification whereby you can post a message that is coming from the server or your own custom message. Uh, for instance, you can tell the user the password or username is incorrect. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and let's get right into it. So I've created a new project and it's running on localhost 3000. This is a project. So we are going to create a new page called login. And then create a simple login. I'm going to paste some code there because we are not going to go uh, stepwise creating them. So simply it's just sign in uh, with email address, password and we have a button for login. Down here we are going to create our script uh, with some methods. I'm going to create it first and then come back. So this is my script. We have components, data. Under data we have email, password and error. This is the error that we are going to display later on. And is my method login. Login sends a request to the backend. So I have a backend running on localhost 5000 and then it will either get a response or error and then we set the particular error that we get to the error that is on our application so that we can display it later. Uh, we could have created the whole notification here but I like separating things which is a good way. I'm going to set it on component and then import it. So let's import notification from component notification and then under components we add notification but we don't have it yet so we have to create it on components under components create a new file notification So there we have it. So let's create our component. And here goes our message. Then under script, notification, properties. This message is what is going to be passed the notification you're going to add a notification and then pass this message set color to red and that's it so we've imported our notification and we can display it here. So notification with message equals to our error, which is our error message. And then we display it if and only if we have got an error. Or in other words, if the error is not null. So initially we are setting the error to be null and later on we set the error to a certain value if we get the error. Let's save this, try to test it. We can change one of these buttons to, to go to login. Under index, we can change GitHub to login. And then the link is login. And that's it. So this is our login page. We can try to log in with the wrong password. And there you go. You get this particular message. Username or password is incorrect. Uh, let me just show you in the console. This is the error message that we are logging on our console. On login.
you can be able to see it here username or password is incorrect error coming from the backend and then we display it here so this is the simplest way to display a notification a custom notification so thank you guys and subscribe to my channel see you next time